If you have been struggling with deciding who exactly you need to niche down to, then keep watching this video. Welcome back to another episode of Unedited, where we talk about all things sales, marketing, and mindset. My name is Lauren Nelson. I'm your favorite sales and marketing coach and the founder of La Vida Marketing Management. And today, guys, we are diving into what it means to really pick your people, okay? And I know that a lot of people get confused. A lot of you get confused. Right now, you're probably very confused because you hear everyone saying niche down, niche down, niche down, but your product works for more than one person. It's true, right? Like your product isn't just for one person, but it can get a whole bunch of people results, right? And so this is where this video comes in. I'm going to break it down for you as simple as possible to help you get a better understanding of why it's not only necessary, but why it's in your best interest to niche down as much as you can for your business. Now, before we get into this, let me give you context, right? Because like you, I was there too. And you know, when it comes to finding your niche, it's a process that is forever evolving. And that happens when you are invested in learning and knowing more about your core audience, you know? And so, I want to make it very clear, if you are completely new to business, if you are just getting your feet wet and you're still trying to figure it out, or let's say you are a service provider and you're still trying to figure out exactly who you want to niche down to, I would say don't rush it, right? The first step to niching down is knowing who you want to niche down to, okay? And that first starts with serving a bunch of people. You don't know what you don't know. And so this is why the research phase is so important because it allows you to understand who you actually enjoy working with. It allows you to see who you can help get the most results, okay? And this is where it gets really important, the results piece, because that's the main reason why we niche down because we want to provide the most impact to our customers. Right, And so when you understand that out of 50 different types of people, you get this one specific type of customer, the best results, then you would push to that because that's when you can start posting very targeted testimonials. That's when you can start making your very bold claims. That's when you can start having more confidence in your product or service. And that is where the conviction comes in. That's where the confidence comes in. That's where you start making more money, right? So let me go ahead and break this down for you, okay? And we're gonna break it down into a couple points. Like I said, this is unedited. I will not be editing this video, you know, because we're getting it done. I'm just giving you the gems, okay? Um, so the first thing I want to talk about, we're going to break down three things, okay? And the first point we're going to start with as to why it's so important for you to niche down, right? After you go through that research phase, after you figure out who you actually enjoy working with and who you can help get the most results, number one, it's time. If you are a solopreneur, just starting your business, trying to grind it out, get the people in, get things done, you're already spending so much time in your business, right? Doing the actual thing, delivering the service, delivering the product. Now, let's say you also have to market, right? You have to sell to get more people coming in to keep that revenue flowing. That means you have limited time. So if you are not being very clear and specific, let's say you do want to talk to all four of the customer types in your audience, each one of those people have different pain points. Each one of those people have different circumstances. Each one of those people have different ideal lives, different desires. And the best content, as we all know, focuses on one thing, one problem, one solution at a time. So if you have four, right? And let's say you're only posting one time a day, that means all four of these people, one time a day, four days a week, you've only spoken to a person one time per week. That makes sense? 
And let me just give you a quick stat. It takes about five to seven times for a new person to actually register in their minds that you're a brand, that, okay, this is actually something that could be for me. So if we know that is the case, and let me give you an example, just think about when you're looking at ads. There's been so many times that I'm seeing ads on my feed and I, I notice them, right? But it takes a while, maybe three to five times before I actually am like, hmm, let me check this out. Is this for me? Right? So it takes time for it to actually register, especially with all the other information that is in the online space. You are not the only business that they are interacting with, that they are seeing, right? So if you're speaking to four of these customer types, because you don't want to just, you don't want to limit it to just one person because you don't want to waste money, right? Now you hit nobody because they swipe past, they didn't see it, you didn't talk to them twice during the week, so nobody is getting spoken to for real. And now you're mad that your content isn't converting. You're frustrated. I post every day, but each day you're talking to somebody else. You didn't even nurture them, right? And when we think about relationships, they require nurturing. So with that being said, back to time, this is why niching down and having one group that you're focusing on will help you speed up that process. And like I said, if you are in your beginning stages, amazing. But please do take note that once you know who you like, who gets the most results, you do have to speed it up if you want to keep that process moving faster. Now, let me move to point two because I don't know how much storage I got. Okay, number two, money. If you are thinking about running ads, and you don't know who you're speaking to, you are going to waste so much money. And let me get even more detailed. This comes down to messaging. Like I mentioned before, when you know exactly the person who can get the most results from your service or your product, when you know exactly what their needs are, what they want out of life, what what do they want to get out of your service, right? That's where those testimonials come in. This is what people keep saying consistently that they want who are of this customer type. You can put that into your copy. That becomes your main messaging. That's what is consistently being spoken to them every single day. But if you don't choose one and you decide to run ads, do marketing, hire a team, but you aren't speaking to the right people, it will never work meaning you're gonna keep posting, scheduling ads, doing posts, doing collaborations, all this stuff, but it's not resonating with anybody. And when it comes to this competitive market in this day and age, you need to be, you, you need to be on point with your messaging. You need to be very crystal clear with who you're speaking to, because if not, you're gonna be drowned out by everybody else who is crystal clear. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And last but not least, energy. You do not wanna waste energy. Like I said, if you're posting four or five times a week by yourself, you don't hire anyone. On top of also doing work in your business, executing the services that you provide, providing the products, you will be drained. You will feel a bit helpless because you're like, it doesn't work. I tried online marketing, it works for everybody else, but when it comes to me, I just don't see results. And I'm telling you the reason why is because you haven't niched down. You haven't decided, who do I get the most results for? Who do I actually enjoy working with? And you haven't crafted your messaging and set up your page and your website and all everything that has to do with your business. You haven't set it up in a way to communicate to them and to them alone. So let's do a quick recap. We got time, we got money, and we got energy. And with these three things, you can save if you decide to niche down. So that is today's tip. I hope it was helpful for <laughs> I hope it was helpful for you. Oh my God. Okay, and the last thing before we go, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I'm getting back into routine. Y'all, it's been busy. I'll do an update video a little bit later. Like I said, my storage, she's about to go. Um, the next thing, I am officially going to be open, opening up spots for coaching this Friday. Today is Monday. If you're watching this, um, yeah, just follow me on my page. I won't be opening up spots until Friday because I have to get something set. 
Um, got a few proposals I gotta write, got a few new gigs. I'm very excited. Building out my team, very excited. It's just a lot going on, blessed and busy in the best way. So with that being said, just go ahead and follow me, subscribe here. More information will be coming out soon. Hoping to get, I will, I'm not even hoping. I'm getting more consistent on this platform again. Um, and maybe we might even do another 30 day challenge, we'll see. But with that being said, I love you so much and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.